I never dreamed that the life of my grandsons, which began with such love and comfort, would turn to see so much violence and bloodshed. This is their story, as it was told to me. should disappear. Go someplace where we can see everything. Let me see your knife. Can I carve my name in your face? Get in the way! Oh, that God. son of a bitch broke my goddamn window! Oh, God.
angry about something? No. He said that he has just about had it with you. You want the truth. I think you pushed your old man just about as far as you can push him. I drag down here once a week to bail your ass out of some mess. I don't want to hear your excuses. Now go on outside and get in the car. Just wait. What? What am I waiting for, buddy? You gonna collect yourself? Show me some respect? What's it gonna take, Chris? I'm not going. I said get in the goddamn car. Today was supposed to be about your brother. It's his birthday. It's not about you. I've had enough for waiting at home with our party hat, so I'm gonna get a call like that. How do you think that makes Tim feel? It's all right, Dad. No, it's not all right. Don't you care about anybody but yourself? <laughs> Forget about that girlfriend of yours. You duck out on your responsibility again, I'll bury you alive. Never let me leave this place. You wanna leave? You wanna leave this place? We can't even have friends! What kind of birthday is it with just the three of us? It's like we're being locked up for, for what? What are you afraid we're gonna do? Sorry I ruined your birthday. I thought my birthday party would be a lot of fun. <sighs> you and Dad and me, we all have a good time. But it didn't happen like that. Before you know it, the things you say, nobody's gonna listen. The way you feel. You're just a kid. Enjoy it while it lasts. Now, I want to introduce a special trio, uh, the Rebecca Trio. Come and have a song about what wonderful grace the Lord Jesus Christ gives us to live with. <coughs> Sheltered in 
the arms of God. Brett. I'm going in town. I won't be back till late. Where's Tim at? I don't know. You put salt water in the feed? Yeah, but I can't do all this by myself. Why don't you send Tim out here to help for once? Nah, uh, he's no good at work. Not much for strength. I'm gonna have some of his birthday cake. No, you're not until you're done working here. A lot to be done. Got a hole in your foot. I know. It smells. Can I stick my finger in it? In the hole? No. Oh, I'd just wiggle it around. It would be cool. I've been hard on you, Chris, but you know I love you. 
You must have looked pretty classic with that board sticking out of your foot. Wished I'd seen that. It hurt? Huh? Hurt like crap. Sometimes it's the strange moments that stick with you. Don't spit on me. I'm tired of looking at your head. Come up here and bring me some nails. I don't like being up there. Who's that? I think I'm lost. Does John Munn live here? He's somewhere. Who are you, little man? He's here. Dad! Can I help you? John? Put that booger down, brother, and come give me a kiss. Well, I'll be. Deal? It's a shocker, ain't it? I found you. These yours? Yeah. Come on in. That dad's brother? Never seen him before. Like his car? Shut up. What are you doing? Organizing my books by the way they smell. This one's about a guy. Thought a lot about you. Gotta say, deal. <laughs> yeah, well, I never did get no Valentine's, John. I don't know if you'd want to hear from me. The way you blame me for things, don't say you didn't. I won't. Then when Audrey died, I... well, I just couldn't bear it. Took the kids out of school, didn't tell nobody, moved out here to live in the sticks like hermits. Because people sort of know reminders when you tear away from people. I, I couldn't, couldn't handle it. 
thought of you stuck in that place. <clears throat> so I was going to go see you. I made plans, but I didn't. I just... You don't got to say nothing, John. I feel like if I forgive, then I'll be forgiven. Lost gets everywhere. Ow. Stay still. Was she pretty? Who? Mom. She was kind of good looking, I guess. For a mom. She had a little mustache, though. I always thought that was weird for a lady. I remember her kind of perfume. You want to smell my armpit? No. Yep. Get me a haircut. What are you going to do now? You got any plans? Oh, I always got plans. Down. As long as I stay in the state, I'm good. Check out the parole officer every once in a while. Man, I got some masonry work lined up. Over. Watch your step there. Tim's got a rough stomach. Good, John. You look like you're doing all right for yourself. You're doing well enough. You really are. I sold off six hogs to this Korean farmer last week just to clear the place out. I've been looking for a good man to keep up around here. I got some work at this little taxidermy shop. It's way out in Bilton. Tell you what, let's do. Once you stick around till your work starts, you can be a help to me. How's that? You know, those kids are a handful. Tim's got health problems are getting serious. And uh when I'm gone, I worry Chris is going to get into trouble and not taking care of his responsibility. Seems like every time I turn around, the cops got him picked up for something or another. Breaking windows. Pop this kid in the face with a rake. Then he breaks into a church. The preacher finds him. Sleep on the altar, drunk on wine. I could use another pair of eyes around here. Couldn't pay you, but you get a roof over your head. Feed you. That way, me and you could spend some time together, like you said. I'd like that. Yeah, it's all the same to me. Chicken ain't nothing but a bird. <laughs> hey, you remember them old Mexican gold coins Dad stole from that museum that time? Yeah. When he was kids. He always said when he died, you and me should split up the worth and treat ourselves like kings. Well, when they died, they raided this place. They took everything. They even took those, those old Indian ashtrays. Old man was a hell of a pirate. The worst taste in art. I like them boots. Yeah, pretty cool. You're cool. Uh, I don't think he's got any place else to stay. He's gonna stay with us for a little while. We'll see how it goes. What are you doing? scare you. Hey, y'all sleep tight. I'm gonna hit it. It's good to be here. Good night. Oh, that's a song my father used to sing. Uh, I haven't heard that in years.
What's wrong? I'm, I'm just... I'm scared of the way you make me feel. I think I might be too young for my head. I didn't touch you. It's your dad, right? I don't know what we're doing. I care about you, Chris, but I can't. Hot enough for you? You know it ain't the heat that gets to me. It's the stupidity. God damn, it's a beautiful land. I used to take days like this for granted. We've had a lot of rain. So it's like... All this life. He's like living in a fishbowl, that's what it's like. Huh? He says it's like living in a fishbowl, being stuck here like a workhorse. Must get kind of cramped being a slave. Me, I gotta get away now and then. What about you? God, I love to drive. Has he changed much? From when y'all were kids? Old John? Ah, he's pretty much the same. He's got a few silly new fur coats, kind of queer. Did you know my mom? I knew your mom first. She's my girl. He didn't mention that little detail, though, huh? No, I shouldn't think he would. What did he tell you about me? You said you're in prison. You got a girlfriend? Not really. Huh? That's smart, boy. You gotta live a little first. Girls mess with your head, make you do crazy things. Did you hurt somebody? You wanna drive? I'll work the gear shift. Uh... Somebody better take the wheel. Better take the wheel. Oh. Come on, champ, take it. Somebody better take the wheel, come on. Shit! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot what it feels like. What feels like? <sighs> you scared? Sell you like. Look at all that goop. <laughs> it's about infinity. The doctor says his brain ain't ready for it. It's an anxiety disorder. Freaks out his ulcer. 
It's called an anxiety disorder. Mm -hmm. You yeah, take your hat off at the table any Thanksgiving. When I was a boy, I used to worry about pilgrims. I had this nightmare that a whole bunch of you bastards would bust into my room with your shirts off and you'd tickle me crazy. You'd make me walk the plank or eat turkey until I got fat. You'd force me to just eat and eat and eat. Till all of a sudden I realized I was an animal. An animal eating an animal. And then I'd wake up with a start and find I'd piss my pajamas. <laughs> Yeah. It is kind of funny now. It wasn't so funny then. How much work you guys get done today? Well, not as much as we had hoped. We uh, we need to run to town and get some supplies. <clears throat> Come on now, dish up. Y'all say grace? Uh, occasionally. No, feel free. Thank you for this food. Hope everybody has a nice time. Eh? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I want a leg. All right. Supplies in town, huh? Well, tell you the truth, Chris wanted to take a ride in my car, and I could have said no, but hell, I didn't want to get off on the wrong foot with him, you know. You went driving? I get home, nothing's done. <laughs> you know, you're sure right about them two. They ain't exactly fond of work. I kept having to stop what I was doing, go and track them down. <sighs> Don't put it all on the boys' deal. That's not what we agreed on. You're supposed to look after him. Just trying to give the kids some elbow room. We were not exactly angels when we were their age, John. Oh, that's right. That's right. You don't trust me, do you? If you want me to leave, you just say so. No, no. For the longest time out here, just me and the boys, I was sure I'd made a wreck of things. You know what I mean? Hmm. I just wanted us to be a family. Well, anyhow, now you're here, maybe I got a second chance. Let's not mess it up. Okay. You are you gonna eat that? What? That? that? Oh. No, go on, help yourself. Give <clears throat> a piece of grizzle. Hurry up, Dad wants you. Hi. Yeah. had that pain and made I just stand still without sleeping took a night and a day what did I do now I hear you just had a birthday. How old does that make you? Ten years old. Ten? Yeah, you're a heck of a lot smarter than most ten-year-olds I know. That's a sharp-looking jet. Just made it by hand. Damn nice. And your daddy's got a lot of real nice things too, don't he? You know, when I was your age, my daddy, he had a collection of old Mexican coins. He used to let me and John play with them sometimes. They were solid gold. Dad has something like that. I knew that. You know, your, your granddaddy, he gave them to John and me, his two sons. 
And your dad, he probably just forgot the half of mine. But where does he keep them at? Keeps them hid. Well, where does he hide them at? It's a secret. Well, see, I'm family, and I'm pretty good at keeping secrets. It's a secret for me, too. You don't say. Shouldn't do that. You shouldn't open a can like that. You bust your knuck with. What are you doing? I found your stack of nudie books in a chest under a rock back here. You got good taste. Stuff ain't mine. I ain't gonna say nothing. I ain't got no business busting in on dirty secrets. Besides me and you as friends, ain't that right? That's right. Yeah. I never had all the advantages like John. I got the leave until I was told to like it. I see the way your daddy looks at your little brother. You, you know there's something. He sees in himself like looking in a goddamn mirror. Then there's you. You're just one of his little pigs. A hole in the ground. I like you, Chris. You don't play games. Don't ever let the same dog bite you twice, you know what I mean? Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. Moo! <laughs> Moo! Doesn't work. Oh, you got the wrong tool. Did you and Uncle Leo fight a lot when you were kids? Uh, well, we, we, we had our problems, but our dad didn't put up with too much nonsense. He was nice too, right? He gave you that treasure. You mean those coins? That's right, he did. Now, you know those coins ain't ordinary coins. What do you mean? Oh... It's a long story. It's for pirates? No, not exactly. Do you know about Charon, the ferryman of the dead? Well, according to a legend, when you pass into the realm of the dead, your spirit has to pay passage to cross the river Styx into Hades. You have to pay Charon. He's the ferryman. Is this wang demon? The price, one gold coin per soul. If you don't have a coin, then you're condemned to one of the banks of the river for a hundred years. Like in hell? No. Just waiting. Long time ago, my father went for a walk to the river. And at the ferry crossing, he sees this old Mexican ferryman all dressed in rags. Pays him a nickel, crosses over, doesn't think much of it. When he gets home, he reaches his hand in his pocket. Pulls out a gold coin that hadn't been there before. But my dad couldn't stop thinking about that poor man, how much food that coin would buy. So the next day, he crosses the river again. He gives the man a gold coin. The man thanks him, takes him across the river. But when he got home, he reaches in, and now he's got two gold coins. Same thing happened the next day and the day after. Five coins, and 10, and 20, and 40, on and on. His pockets grew fat. Then one day, the river dried up, and the ferryman was gone, and never came back. My dad said he thought that was Charon, and that he was paying the living for what he kept from the dead. That's why I saved him all this time, those coins. They're the debt the dead had to pay. They're worth so much, why don't you just sell them so we can get rich? 
Well, I pawned one off last year to buy that station wagon. You see what a pain in the ass that's been. I'd like to prove my point. There are demons. And they got a sick sense of humor. All right, go on now. Get washed up, you sculpt. Dad, why was Deal in jail? Uh, well, before our parents died, he. He got some bad news that upset him. That was something I did. I let my brother down. And I'm not proud of it. He came to find me for a reason. Dressing up in your clothes. Pretending I'm you. Your boots are a little too big, though, honestly. I thought things were good between us. You lied to me, John. I knew it. Always twisting things around so you come out on top. I show up here, and all of a sudden, you got a second chance. Well, I never had a first chance. You and the old man saw to that. First my girl, and now my money. Everything that belongs to me is here. You brought her into it when I was pinned down. When I walk into my own bedroom and see you with my girl. Seen you with her, John. She's an old case in you are, John. Chris is my son. You've always known that. Get out of my house. I can't let this go, John. I'm not to stand here and listen to this. That's because you never listen. You never listen. As for what I did, we were young. I'm sorry. Is that what you want me to say? I want huh? money. Would that help? Put those coins down! You think that's gonna make it better? Huh? Those coins are a greed deal. It's your own greed you're trying to disguise. You're scared of this world. You think... If you hide everything, it'll be easy. Huh? Don't ever hit me again, you hear me?
your knife that killed my brother. It's a pity, too. You and I was friends. You gonna tell the police? He's got my knife and my fingerprints. Cops will think I did it. Everybody's looking for a reason to put me away. Got nobody. Where are we gonna go? We'll shave our heads. Grow 
beards and only speak Apache. I don't know. We should go to Mexico. Gold's good there. I can't sell them. It's bad luck. I'll take all the luck I can get. Got an idea. Huh? Excuse us! If you need any work done, we give you a hand for about to eat. Hey, boys! Lunch is ready. Okay, y'all, eat some of this shit. All right. You, you want to hear a joke? It's a Mexican weather joke. Um, what's the what's the weather like in Mexico? Chill of the day, hot to mild. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on! You're doing your joke. <laughs> it's a day of funny joke. It's a day of fun. Really? Mm-hmm. Think so? It's been a long time since somebody treated us so good. Well, it's been a long time since uh, we had some young people sit with us. We unable to have children. Had us a little one for a while. Little baby boy. He wouldn't take my milk. I tried and tried, but my breast was strangest to What we do now is we count the blessings that we do have. My baby. Amen. Praise Jesus. Little man, eat. <laughs> Cause you don't eat, you won't be able to grow up like this.
You know what Wadsworth did? What? Pulled a nickel out of my armpit. Can't buy much with a nickel. I like this goat. You don't look so good. You didn't hardly eat. You don't like my cooking? Now you boys look exhausted. Why don't you stay here and rest a while? My shoulder hurt. That little one looks so sick. I'm going about my pain. He said keep an eye on him. That he'd be here soon. Okay. I hope I done the right thing. Be all right. He's probably just lost and hungry. Forgot where their home was. I'm going to myself. Where are they at anyway? They're um, in a hammock. Resting. I bet. I told them they could be there. Howdy. Mr. Pella? Mm-hmm. Nice place. Damn nice place you got. Yeah, them boys is pretty smooth. Yeah, I ain't surprised they got one over on you either. Me over. Yeah, they ran out this morning when they seen the workload I had for them. Oh, really? What's wrong? Howdy, ma'am. How you doing? They gone. They disappeared. They, they run off. What you mean, they're gone? Where they're going? When was the last time you seen them? I don't know. Did they tell you where they're going? They said they was going down to Watertown, working on the water. I think we should call the sheriff, get a no, couple cars. That's a good sheriff, idea. No, they couldn't have gotten no, Don't be calling the sheriff, damn it! Guess what? What? There's a cow. I don't. I want to move the hell out of it.
and this dad, the hogs, my books, and my shower cap. I'm out. Dad died. I think he got across the river. We should keep the coins. Dad might need them for the ferryman and come back. I think you might have chiggers. Yeah. Yeah. They're too small to see, so it's just the bites. The bites are really big. You know, chiggers, they're like the smallest animals on earth to have such a harmful bite. They hurt a lot, and it's like poison ivy. I read a book about them, but it was a long time ago, and I forget them. But I do remember that they don't bite your skin. They just, well, they bite your skin. They don't eat off of it. They just bite it, and that's where their nest is. And that little red dot. And if you smush them, they die. They're all red, but in the middle, it's even redder, like flowers and all of the thorns. But on the outside, they're just pink. And like your box right there. If we were like big sized chiggers, if I bit you, there'd be a big lump on your head. Really big. Because the bites are bigger than they are. So it would hurt a lot. If we moved to some country only like Iceland or Nebraska, it's too cold for them, so we'd be safe. And they'd all either die or run away. I couldn't tell if that was a man or a woman. There's a lot of red ants over here. You like books? Yep. The Jinx of Payroll Canyon, that's a really good book. It's about this guy who's just going around and then he finds this treasure and he doesn't know what it is and he has to go find it. And when he opens it up, it puts a curse on him. And he revenges the guy who put the curse on him. Nothing personal, Chris. Um, I've got labor laws to deal with around here. Labor laws, they uh, take me off in handcuffs if I hire somebody like you. We had nothing here for you. I appreciate you stopping by. Shut up. Hey man, 
Don't I know you from someplace? I don't think so. Did you ever hear of a singing and dancing group called the Historics? Look, man, I'm in a hurry. It's kind of like a play on words, like Storks, like the bird, but uh, Historics, because the Like music. I said, I'm in a hurry, and I got this car that keeps conking out on me every time I try to get anywhere. You think you can just persuade it to give me a little bit more? Um, he needs torque. You know, uh, the, there was yet. another uh, uh, wreck the other day. Uh, an ice cream truck wrecked out on the road. We had to tow it. It still had the ice cream in it. It was melted, but we we ate it anyway. Dude, why are you standing right behind me, Ricardo? Go back in the truck. Do you ever do any time? Yeah, let's look, look, I'm in a hurry. Why are you where you want me to sit? I just got out of time to cool myself. Oh, uh, you can sit can up sit uh, back in my car. Well, you could, but there's always the danger of a disconnect and the car would roll out. You wouldn't be able to drive it because it's dead. Oh, you're coming over here now. I ain't sitting in the middle. Those boots are awesome. I think they're awesome. Uh, we can sit in, uh, I'll sit in the middle. There's this one song that the dish starts to. It's Monster in the Canyon. You know that there's a monster in the canyon. Hey, you seen two kids hanging around here? I saw a kid up the street. I had his babysitter to a tree with a thing of bob wire. Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you look like? Just a kid, I guess. He had a double chin. Yeah, it's not burn. What's wrong? That's why I'm not going. <coughs> Hell. How'd you come by that thing on your face? Yeah, well. Uh, I choked on my gun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, weird. <coughs> Got that radiator fixed up as quick as we could. Uh, cool. Should last a good while. Stupid baby mine. Check it out. The old clerk thought I just went in to take a leak. Where are we going? I'll get work. We'll get set up and then head south till we get to Mexico. Go eat cheese or something. You want to go? 
If I was looking for a workout here, who would I talk to? Like working on boats or whatever. Well, you talk to any of these guys on the boat around here. It's got a boat. I got a crew right now. If I can get them to work, they don't want to work. They stand around with jaw in the mouth talking about hurricanes and stuff. Now, all right, let, me, let me tell you the truth. I'm looking for two boys. Two, my boys, they run out on me. And I'm thinking they might be working out here. You seen them? No. What do they look like? They look a bit like me, just smaller. Anybody here? Anybody here? I wish we had a knife so he could kill animals that come around. Never kill nothing in your life. Mosquito. Sorry, mosquito. It's a firefly. Never something granddaddy used to say. Something told me a long time ago. It was Mama's dad. Walking in the woods. And there were fireflies. A bunch of them blinking off and on. He called them nature's nightlights. To help animals find their way in the dark. But can't keep them. Need to be able to fly around. They'll die if they can't. He had a way to calm me with his words. You couldn't tell half the time if he was talking. We were reading his mind. Why not we go see him? Who? Granddad and Grandma. Maybe they don't want us anyhow. You ever think about that? They didn't like Dad's style. And then after Mom died, they stopped showing up.
She really got a nice voice, though. She get the right break, she'll be here in a hurry. What, uh, what year was that? Yeah. That was uh, just last year that his picture was taken. You said two forty five over there. Medicine from testing forms. <coughs> Can you hold it down? Make you better. after each other, protects each other. They even forgive each other. I'm here to ask for your forgiveness. you're putting Tim through, running him around. Let's stop all this. I was thinking about Dad, how he spoke to us, like he was afraid. When he looked me in the eye, sometimes 
I believe he had no idea who I was. Or didn't care. Who was this kid? How did he spring from me? I like the questions you ask yourself. Hey, Gus. Hey. I want like a thousand babies. Like a whole force of them, so that you're just a team and when you walk anywhere, people always have to pay attention to you. But maybe some more boys than girls because of He's not doing so good. He'll fight it off. He always does. Here. Do you got something to write with? I met this, um, this gypsy once. She, um, she told me that you, you write down a wish, like whatever you want most in the world, you write it down. Don't tell me what it is, okay? Then you put it in here. Don't look at mine. Put it in here. You 
see this river? It goes to the ocean. And so you throw the throw your bottle in the ocean. Well, you don't. You throw it in the river, and if it makes it all the way to the ocean, then everything comes true. But a lot can go wrong because it could it could just get pulled down. Something could pull it down. Have you seen him? I've seen him. I'd make it worth your while. Say, man, where'd you get that book? Your bag's right there. That's what you're looking for, it's right there. What are you doing? Those belong to my dad. They're worth a lot. Figured he could use them. I ain't got nowhere to go. No one to be with me. See? I didn't know if I'd ever see you again, Chris. Gather up them coins, boy. Do it. I said gather up them coins, boy. I ain't your boy. Oh, Chris. Your mom and me, we had some beautiful good times. Don't talk about her. We had some beautiful nights, boy. And you're gonna be our gift to each other. You don't know nothing! I know your daddy, that stranger you oh, I saw in you, Chris, was because you weren't his. You're my seed, and he had no right, no right at all. Now let's take them coins, and let's start over, just you and me. Chris! 
Hand him to me, Chris. Nobody gets him. I used to get confused. I used to get confused where things begin and 
when they end, or what happens before and after. What about Mom and Dad? Do they cross the river? Are they watching us now? Where do I go? Sometimes I wonder if I'm superstitious. Do I believe in broken mirrors and demons and curses? Because sometimes it's a comfort. Everything's okay. You're safe with us now. safe with us now. The doctor said you almost could have drowned. How you feel? Cold. Huh? Cold. You cold? Cold. So your grandmother's gonna cook us up some good food and I want you to eat real good. Will you do that for me? Hell yeah. Huh? You ever eaten the alligator? Uh-uh. It's good. Makes you strong. <laughs> It'll been around 200 million years. What about venison? Buffalo? Uh-uh. They're all good for you. We'll have all that. Your grandmother can cook so good, man. Make your tongue turn around and slap your brains. <laughs> <laughs>